it's the final countdown or whatever for us to make sure we do everything this one's one Kyushu number one star the ramen finale uh Someone's buying bottles all the time in Ryukyushu. No, I forgot an Okinawa sub story. Listen, this is an incredibly cumbersome menu. <laughs> I have no idea what that one even is anymore. So many sub stories, and they're organized poorly, and the ones that you're completed already are listed along. Like what? <laughs> Can you imagine? Like the, if you look at this like logically, you're like, oh, this is a a Western RPG quest log essentially. That shows every completed quest alongside all of the non-completed quests unsorted. It's not a great plan, and you can't blame it on the, when the game came out because the game came out in two thousand nine. It's not like we didn't know how to make RPGs and like quest logs and so on. Like they they went as far as to have little hints here that explain what to do next in the story or where you are right now in the story, but like they just. You just have to just find them in this list of what's currently 91 quests. I have to find the six that I haven't finished, seven I haven't finished. So the tuna fun sent me back to Kamurocho. And the bottle, I forgot to follow up on the bottle switch in Okinawa now, which is unfortunate. I have no idea who this kid is, this guy is at, it's at parks apparently. I don't know which park to look for. But I need to go to Kyushu number one star and I need to find the tuna fund situation. Apparently. And this guy wants me to find bouncers, which was the thing we were working on before. Do I have a new one? Tuna fund news. I need to find out where the tuna fund guy is now. It just says to ask around when I get back to Kamurocho, which is incredibly unhelpful. <laughs> then there's Rikia, Rikia, Mac. Oh. They killed Rikia. Like, they just straight up- uh, they straight up killed Rikia. There is no new casino boss situation. He did not get to stick around for very long, as it turns out. I guess- yeah, that makes it- I guess it's a good thing I took care of the the snake eye situation. That was like a that was a narrow window. You're only really with Rikio once, and any quest you didn't do with him, then you're never gonna get those. Are just gonna become permanent regrets. Not that there's a lot of outcomes where you don't have permanent regrets in this situation. I don't I don't know. It's it's cool seeing. It was fucked up to say a little bit, because it sounds like, yay, suffering, is the way, the way it's phrased, but like, functionally, it is kind of neat to see them let Kiryu cry and everything. Just because there's some schools of thought that act like it's like, unreason- men can't cry, especially the manly men, never. So it's always positive representation a little bit to actually let that happen. On the other hand, I just- I, his death seemed a little stupid. Just because everyone just, like, conveniently forgets about the threat. And you're like, what are you doing?! What are you doing?! You don't say much, eh? Stop! Don't! <laughs> no! <laughs> don't be this, don't- This is- The sympathetic character of this game, and he's gonna die this way?! It's like, oh, no. There was a guy with a gun and everyone was just like, aha, uh -huh, I'm sure he's defeated now. Let's all turn our backs to him and see what happens. Oh no, test failed. It's like, god damn it. Right. No, I need to continue the story. I think, uh... No, maybe I'll just do- yeah. You know what, I think I'm just gonna finish the story. I might have- I think I'm gonna do an epilogue episode where I try to wrap up some things. Uh... Because, yeah, we have momentum in the story where it feels like I need to wrap it up. And also, at the moment, I think I can't do anything be that is... I can't do any of the quests that you would normally do solo because... Uh, I have company. 
which changes the world state into a do their quests mode. And I don't think there are many, or there might be, but that's not the ones I know about. At this point, I think that we've hit maximum conflict between side content and main content, and I just kind of have to resolve it by finishing the main content. And then after the uh, ending, we'll, do, we'll have like maybe an epilogue episode or two. It happens. Also, I want to see the story end. I'm not royal. So yeah, I, I do kind of want to see the ending to the story now, too. What is happening here? Sir? Hey, just a minute, Pops. What are you doing with that little girl? What is it with parents these days? This ain't no place to bring a kid, you know. Hey there, little lady. You wanna go someplace nice with me? <laughs> Help! Get lost. I don't have time to mess with filth like you. What? Who do you think you're talking to? Looks like I'm giving some parenting lessons. I am so confused by what this guy thinks he's saying and doing. What? The fuck? I'm gonna give you some parenting lessons, pal. You won't just give your girl away to, to strange men at the park. Also saying, this ain't no place for children at a children's park. All right. Ka. My combos are growing longer. Did a, I did a power move that finishes with a, with a grab, because that's one of the ways to get past the guard of the big dudes. And they just start stomping on him, stomping on him, stomping on him. Ah, who is this guy? Town never changes. You okay, Haruka? Yep. Yeah. Thanks for protecting me, Uncle Kaz. But don't overdo it, okay? Heh. <laughs> I'll be fine. Oh. That's how you increase the Haruka Trust Meter, which is apparently an incredibly garish, like, pink heart cover. It's like, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> that interface element is a lot to take in, in the middle of Yakuza. Oh, so that wasn't, okay, that wasn't a sub-story. That was like our wandering around with Haruka thing. It kind of feels judgy and dickish that the game tells me that I have a trust level of F with Haruka. Like, I get what they're doing. They want you to, they want to have a system where you grind by just like spending a lot of time with Haruka and so on and like have rewards and for that and feel like you're gr growing your bond with this person but like have you seen the events of these games? I think bond is taken care of I don't think I need to grind a rep and have it listed as F is like extra iffy I'm like what the fuck do you mean F? excuse me have you seen the games? <laughs> do you, like did, have you seen the story of your own game? uh that's weird, but it's ultimately just another feature bloat thing because every Yakuza game has like several feature bloat ish things that are just there for people that are, you know, if you're playing these games as they come out and you're lacking other games to play, then you might beat the game and be like, I need more forever. And then you're like, I'm going to spend 12 hours bowling and figuring out how to make Haruka give them pre the uh, give max debt reputation meter and like things like that that are just like. I get, I get it. I guess I get why it's there for people that just want it, games to last forever. But it doesn't really benefit the game outside of that specific context. And nowadays, so many games come out so frequently and are often discounted to so cheap that I somewhat question the idea of being that desperate for content. Maybe all the more so because at this point, even Yakuza fans have like eight games to pick from and they're like sold in bundles and stuff here you you're back for now yeah and i see you brought a little someone with you guess that means everything's settled huh we won't have to worry about joji kazuma or having our land taken away from us anymore so the the initial the initial motivation of the entire game is actually kind of gone but now we, we're going, we're getting dragged back into the Yakuza because we can't let do Dojima die. Uh, although, you know, we lost a lot in the process. Don't have to worry about a land being taken away anymore except for the part where 
it destroyed the bit. The, the orphanage was destroyed. Like the whole point of this game was to save the orphanage and it's destroyed. But hey, we can rebuild, I guess. The land was more important than the orphanage, for, I guess, it was the, is the implication. Which is weird. This whole time I kept feeling like we could potentially sell and just get a new orphanage somewhere or something. And the, ha the Hakuho clan? That's actually why I'm here. I have reason to believe Mine is on his way to the hospital where Dai goes staying. I need to stop him before it's too late. Any way I can help? Yeah. Look after Haruko while I'm gone. What? That's it? You're... Not thinking of heading in there all on your own, are you? I am. Now hold on a second. You can't just... Ah, uh, what am I thinking? No matter how hard I fight, you're still gonna do it. Alright, I'll keep Haruka safe and sound while you're gone. I appreciate it, Dati-san. But do, so, do me something before you go. Say goodbye to her, yeah? <laughs> I can do that. Is it time, Uncle Cass? Yeah. It's time I put an end to this. Just come back home safe, okay, Uncle Kaz? I will. I promise. Well, now you promise you definitely have to. Don't worry. Just wait here. I'll be back before you know it. Can I even talk to her? Eh. She was almost a character. <laughs> I have such expectations of characterization from Serena because of Yakuza 0, which isn't fair, but it's there. Time to head over to Taoto Hospital and save Daigo. Guess I need to grab a taxi there. Tawada from the Tuna Fund here. How have you been? The tuna are growing so fast we've already getting calls from interested buyers, including tuna canners. That's why I'm thinking of expanding the tuna farm to ten times its original size. But I'll need additional investments. Let me know if you're interested. Tuna Fund, huh? Hope that guy's at Sushi Gin. You know, there's a few other follow-ups, but you know what? No. Let's finish this. For all I know, this is the finale. <laughs> it might be. We're in chapter 12. There's usually only 12 or 13 chapters, I think. Usually there's like a 13th chapter, but instead of calling it chapter 13, they call it finale. Probably to stop. Probably not call it 13, I guess. Is that shiny? Nope. We've got to save Daigo. Why? Hello? Kazuma. It's me, Joji. What's up, Joji? I'm just about back in Tokyo. Where are you now? Getting in a cab. I'm going to the hospital to finally put an end to this madness. Good. But listen, Kazuma. There's, no there's something I need to tell you before you go. What's that? I just had headquarters issue an order to activate... Uh, to all active agents in the Tokyo metropolitan area. The CIA will have your back every step of the way. Huh. Guess that explains why an agent walked up to me not too long ago. There's one team I haven't been able to get in touch with, though. Remember, the CIA's goal here is, app is apprehending Richardson. I'm not sure why we can't reach the team. But if you run into them, it's likely they'll see you as a mere obstacle in their path. Hmm. Worst comes to worse, you may even have to fight them. Just... Watch your back, Kazuma. Thanks, Joji. I will. I'm still gonna have to fight the CIA? Guess I'll need to watch out for more than Mine's men. Sir? Excuse me, sir. Are you getting in or not? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. A little bit of having... Taking the cake and having it too... Or eating the cake and having it too of, like... Oh yeah? You think you made peace with the fucking CIA? Well, they're still gonna attack you. It's just there's a sub-faction of them. That guy that blew up the restaurant better be in this chapter. Otherwise, why did they set him up?
砲会の連中か急いでるんだ通させてもらうぜ<音声>そうかじゃあ死にてやつだけかかってこい You have chosen poorly. Hey, some of them even have weapons. Maybe I can beat some info about Daigo out of these guys. Oh, there's a crowd. Oh, that's there's like an outer ring that the whole moves as a group. It's so fucking creepy. It's like an ocean organism. Oh my god, that's really off putting. <laughs> I don't want you, I want this. Damn it. Whoops. No! Damn it. Big mistake. I just try to pick up the fucking sword. It shouldn't be this hard. It should not be this hard to do this. Thank you. What? God damn it. Alright. Ah, god damn it. It's really rough when you go into a heat action, then come out, and before you can readjust to what's happening outside the cutscene, someone just fucking stabs you or something. There you go. There you go. Ah, more sword. More sword and seven Kiryu's ago. I'm kind of just spending my heated action at random because I can't really tell how much health anybody has anyway. A name pops up periodically, but I don't know whose name that is. Like whoever I last hit in a game where I'm doing sweeping actions against 12 people at once. Mm, somebody, that's he somebody's health bar. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, correct. <laughs> that somehow put him on the floor? <laughs> what? There we go. Tell me where Daigo is. I don't know anything. Our captain just told us to come down here and beat your ass. I was just following orders. Your captain? Hmm? <laughs> oh god, you saw me. Hey, get back here. <laughs> Any more weapons on the ground? Yes. Yes, there is. Wait. Does gun have bullets? Gun is not interactive anymore. Okay. Hey, buddy! You seem to think you can escape me. Oh, you're gonna fight me alone? That's a bad plan. See you guys later. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Oh, I can't go this way. There's a small sign in the way. That means I can't do it at all. Obviously. Finish him. Ow. Okay.
get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. It'd be like deceptively hard to do that. No, I want you to beat the old. Uh, trying to hurt the fat man with the big ow. I wish I had a gun <laughs> for this guy mostly. Ugh. This is a this is a fight I lose because he'll definitely iframe through it all. But and by iframe I mean just be unhit damageable because those guys don't. Have a st any kind of a stun. Why is this guy just standing here? Is he guarding the corner? Like, I can't go that way anyway. Hey! 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 I've never liked this feature. <laughs> this enemy type is so boring. Hey! 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 The game just keeps teasing me with a heat action, but I know I won't be able to get away with it. This game's really iffy with its implementation of that stuff. Oh, here we go. Why did it work that? Alright. Tried to use it the first time. People have said there's some kind of thing where, like, you can't use heat actions that interrupt the enemy's animation, unless it's a counter uh, heat action, I guess. Like, the situations where, like, the rule set would normally say you can do a heat action, but you have to only- you can only do it when the triangle pops up in the corner, and it'll just vanish for long stretches of time, because if the enemy's doing anything that contradicts what you're trying to do, then it just won't go off. Which makes- which is why this game has been uniquely frustrating when it comes to using heat actions. Why is it shiny? <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Oh. That's new. Ow. Rude. That's all that's in there? That's all I got. Ow. is it? I can't tell. Is it worth I have some pretty good healing items in my inventory right now. So if, I, so if I don't know what that is, I don't really know if it's worth using a healing item for. I guess I'm low enough though that I could I get away with using something. That man to death. I want to see him cry. Why are you so resilient to bats? It's a bat. Die. Why am I? Why is this? <laughs> How is this even a contested fight? All right. Uh, toughness. Zzz. Yeah, that's probably the weakest item I have. Toriner maximum. That's not great. I mean, it's instantly filling your heat is okay, but it doesn't heal me at all. And a lot of my other items give me uh, heat. Next guy's gonna get it. Oh fuck, it's already decaying. Hi. You get special treatment. It's all for you. Oh fuck. I wish I knew you- I wish I'd realized you were here. I would've used it on you. This enemy type, man. Fuck. 
I have a range disadvantage right now. Yep. <laughs> I hate this enemy so much. Yeah, you can't do a tiger drop as far as I can tell. Oh, you can. But it only works sometimes because I don't know how tiger drop works. God damn it. There we go. Uh, there's so many situations where I'd be like, tiger drop, and he kicks him. I'm like, why? Why did you do that? How, how was the timing? Di I feel like I did the same timing, so I don't know what I did differently. But hey, that's a much faster way of dealing with him, it looks like. Oh, stamina on XX. I still have one of those. Probably what I picked up from last time. What did I pick up this time? I don't think I even saw the notification. There's a lot of items. <laughs> I have no idea what this lucky coin does. Whatever it is is probably weaker than what I have right now. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I have to fight you. God damn it, I miss the window every time. Alright, this is my goal. I forgot. This is the guy that ran off in the first place that I was chasing. That's why it ended here. God damn it. I seem to be missing it every time. Fuck. God damn it. But finally! Ugh. Come on. God. Come on. Throwing punches every now and then because I'm trying to get him to attack me? Because he'll just stare at me for like three years. Fuck. It's so- it's such a tiny fucking am- His animations are so fast. A lot of the enemies are. It's like really difficult to counterattack. I don't know how else to do damage. He just blocks everything. Fuck! It's like one attack per minute, it's exhausting. Why did I go that way? Okay. Come on. Fuck this. Oh, it did no damage. It did garbo damage. Oh my god. There we go, the two of them combined. Eventually did some damage. Oh, I missed it. Yes. You just fought through a whole fucking army. Where's Daigo? Talk. Or do you need a little more convincing? I'll talk, I'll talk. He's up on the 25th floor on the other building. Room 2501. 
Chairman Mine should be up there with him. 25th floor? I need to get moving. Of the other building, too. Like, we're in the wrong building? Whoops. Where am I now? Am I on the 25th floor of the other building now? Oh god, they have guns. <sighs> does this guy only ha Wait, why does this guy have a tiny health bar and the other guy has a whole- like a big-ass health bar? That's weird, right? <laughs> I'm continually kind of surprised by how much your heat gets filled by guns. Hi. Have you considered doing anything besides standing there while I shoot you to death? It's okay, though. Kyrgyz never killed anyone. See? I took him down by throwing the gun. That means he's fine. Bye bye. Hey, sir, you had a gun too. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> you come down here as your friend doesn't come for some reason. <laughs> he died! <laughs> Somebody turn their AI on. I think they broke. Oh, hello. Also, I have anti-gun anti powers, so ha ha. Beds are bulletproof, but you're not. Is that a shotgun? Oh, there's a guy there. Hi. Oh, those are grenades! Hi. Owie. <laughs> oh, God. Do I feel bad right now? Probably not. Do I have to get back up? He's probably fine. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh no, shock it. <laughs> the animation for getting shot in this game. Ow. You should be afraid. Although I'd really recommend running instead of whatever you guys keep doing instead of running. Dying? Yeah. Dying. Shotgun. gun! Every weapon you use is called shoddy and mass-produced to try to excuse the fact that it breaks three seconds after you get it. Hi. I have a shotgun. No, I don't. Why don't I have a shotgun? Kiryu, where'd you put the shotgun? I hid it up my ass. I'll never find it. Oh. Kiryu, no. I heard, ac I heard action movies have cool fight scenes in elevators, so we had to get one. Here, you had somebody sneak up on you. There's one door and it announces when it's opening. <laughs> like, cure you. There's one door. How the fuck is he surprising you? you really got the drop on you, cure you.
Nice vase. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. There's no fight happening right now, so it's really distracting how shiny these are. <laughs> They're all supposed to be loot. I can see what those are. Those are toughness Z's. I see this logo. Just looks really odd seeing 12 items in the, in the room flash like that when you walk in. It's like, huh. Are you okay? Man. I was supposed to use a lot more consumables than I did on my way here, I guess. I'm pretty A-OK. -okay. I can use one of these, I guess. Get a stamina on. Damn. Eh, it's a maximum Toriner, though. That's something. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> That really seemed like that was where I was supposed to go. Oh, Just missed him. If I'd known it would have come to this, I'd have killed you when first we met. Nanda to Daigo wa doko da? Doko yatta? If you're looking for Daigo, Mine's taken him up to the roof. Okujo da na. You're welcome to try. This is the end of the line for you, Kazuma Kidu. Kidu. <laughs> Let's go. Just straight up English. It's really strange. It sounds like it was recorded strangely. It's I don't know if it's just the fact the language change. There's something really strange sounding about it, but I guess, you know, four games in and we get suddenly English. Uh, whoa! <laughs> CIA ain't shit. Ow. I caught it! I caught it! 
I threw it and I caught it! <laughs> oh, damn it, I wasn't ready for that. Are we just dunk dunking on the CIA right now? Is that why he's like secretly the sh one of the shittiest bosses in the game? <laughs> he, he doesn't have shit for moves. He's got nothing to do to. He has nothing to offer. He's so garbage. Let's do it. The, the, the buttons changed. I thought that we had a pattern down, but they changed. Weird. All that hype, and he wasn't shit. <laughs> Mina and Daigo are on the roof. I've got to hurry. Oh, is he going to come back? Like the Terminator? We're gonna fight in the room with the vase. That clearly is a room you fight in. Oh. You guys might be more dangerous than the, your leader, <laughs> collectively. The vase is on the floor. I repeat, the vase is on the floor. Ow. Did the CIA agent just go, shit? Ow, rude. Why didn't do a heat action? He has, not, he has a gun. There we go. I must have been running too much. Brass knuckles, CIA agent. That's pretty funny. Eh, I'll just take it with me, I guess. Hey! Go to hell. Uh oh. Let's do it. He might be annoying. <laughs> Generally speaking, though, guns make people less dangerous in this game, as we've been over before. Even if they can be very annoying. Ah, oh, these heat action opportunities are so brief that I can't get them off. What? <laughs> Yay! I did it. Ah, oh, I did press the wrong one. Ah, shit. He's got, he's got a shotgun suddenly. So he has the same voice actor as the other CIA operatives. They had the same recovery sound of, ah, shit. Uh. Ow, ow, nope, I don't have time to pick things up. <laughs> but I can do that. Ow! Ow. Oh no, he's annoying now. Let me do it! Let me do it! Let me do it! Yay. Oh, his health bar is so long. I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life. Beating him with every object in the room.
Ah, shit, dude. No, let me heat action. Let me heat action! Why well, I want to go off? <laughs> Nonsense. You have like one millisecond to pull off the QTE for a heat action during his boss fights. Hey! I'll take it. It's time to use one of these. Out. Ow. Hey. Oh. He's gonna suddenly have it though. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, now it's X circle square tri Ah! It's, it's, still, it's still fighting. There we go. Now it's X circle triangle square X circle. Or X square. Where it used to be X circle triangle square circle X, I think? It just goes counterclockwise around the controller, but then there's a sequence break for two buttons at the end. And th that part changed suddenly. He's gonna come back again, isn't he? It's, it's the man in the black suit from the previous games that just keeps coming at you. But he's not very strong. <laughs> so it's a little embarrassing, his dedication. Nani? Oh no, CIA ninjas. Guys, I beat your leader twice. Whee! A c -c combo. Fight over now. Oh god. Here's a shotgun! What were you waiting for, sir? Why did you wait until now? Ow! Haha, <laughs> leg sweep. You didn't really plan what to do now, did you? Ow, shit. <laughs> Thought that was a stun lock. Oh, now, you're ne now the next guy's fucked. Ow, shit, stop it. Interesting strategy, this whole single file thing. Why aren't I hitting you? Wait, I am hitting you, you're just not- wait. What the fuck? He's a punk! <laughs> Stop getting stunned by bullets! <laughs> he didn't expect me to pick up the gun, he's like, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Hello? Gonna throw him off. Mean it. Yapparı kite gülemişti ka. Sasuga des. うれしいですよ、キリュウさん。何を言ってるんだ、お前。大悟をどうするつもりだ。お前大悟を殺して登場会の跡目につくつもりなんだろう。ふん。跡目か。本当はそんなもんどうでもよかったんですがね。<笑
こんなことになっちまうとはこんなことだと何を言ってるんだ桐生さん俺はね大悟さんいや六代目のこと本当に心配していたんですよ何この人は俺の人生で唯一俺を一人の男として信じてくれた人なんですよ桐生さん俺がこっちの世界に入ったのは神田の口利きだってこと知ってますよねあああれは俺が神田に金を積んで頼んだことだったんです無所から出てきたばかりのバカな極道を探していたらたまたま神田に行き当たったそれだけなんですよどうしてあんな男にすり寄ってまで極道に俺はねあんたと同じ孤児だったんですよ何俺も生まれた時からたった一人だった物心ついた時から貧困の限りを味わう毎日まるで戦後の孤児並みの生活しかできなかった今の日本でもまだそういった現実はあるあんたならわかるでしょう誰からも愛されず誰からも必要とされずただ孤独と向き合いながら生きていく辛さをだから俺は絶対に偉くなってやる偉くなって金を手にしてやるということだけを考えて育った俺は誰よりも働いたそして誰よりも我慢したなぜかわかりますか金のためですよ金という目標ができた瞬間から俺は手段を選ばず生きる時間の全てを金を作ることに捧げてきたそして欲しいものは何でも買えるいい女も好きなだけだける周りのみんなも俺の命令を喜んで聞いてくれるようになっただけど気づいたんです全ては嘘だと嘘そうです人間はみんな嘘つきで身勝手だいくらたくさんの人間が周りにいてもみんないつかは自分の都合で勝手に離れていくそんな様子を見続けながら俺は悩んだ人間の絆なんてものはこの世にないものなのかとそんな時俺は絶対的な人間の絆があると言われる世界の存在を知ったそれが極道だったというわけかそうです俺はそこに絶対的な絆というものが本当にあるのか知りたかっただから神田に金を渡しあの有名な登場会の門をくぐったんですそこで知り合ったのがこの大悟さんでした大悟さんは極道として経験のない俺をいや中身のない人間だった俺を普通に迎え入れてくれた年も俺と変わらないだけど人の上に立つ男のカリスマがこの人にはあった俺はかけねなしに初めて人を好きになることができたんですそれならどうしてこんな真似を俺はね桐生さん今回の一件もし大悟さんが生きていたら無条件に手を引いてたんですよ何じゃあどうしてだが大悟さんは死んだも同然俺は虚しかった目標になる人間を失った以上次の生きがいが俺は欲しかったそして心に決めた嘘だろうが何だろうが誰にも文句を言わせないほどの力を得てやろうとそれでブラックマンデーに協力をそうです何を言ってるんだそれに大悟はまだ生きているだろうこんな
チューブをつけて生かされているのは人間じゃないやめろミネ俺にとっての大悟さんはこんな姿をした人じゃないこんな大悟さん俺はこれ以上見たくないんですよミネお前何か思い違いしてんじゃねえのか人間しがみついてでも這いつくばってでも生きることに価値があるんだわかるか大悟はまだ必死に生きようとしているそんな人間をお前は自らの手で殺すというのか<笑>まさにあんたの言いそうなセリフだなんだと大悟さんもあんたのそういうところに惚れていたんだろう俺はねあんたみたいな義理人情だけで生きてきたみたいなやつが大嫌いなんだよなんであんたはそうなんだあんたも俺と同じ孤児だろうがなのにどうしてそんなことが言えるんだ今俺がやるべきことは二つ俺の目標だった大悟さんを俺の手で最後の幕引きをして大悟さんが大切にしていたあんたを殺すそして俺は登場界のトップに立ち新たな生きがいをそんなことをして何になるんだ何お前は何にも分かってないお前の周りから人が去っていく理由俺にはよく分かるぜあんたが何を知ってるって言うんだお前から去っていった人間が今でも恨めしいかあああんな金をたかることしか頭のない血も涙もない連中今ここにいたらぶっ殺してやりてえよだったら何なんだお前も同じだぜお前もその連中も金に振り回され人間そのものと向き合うことをしなかったんだお前は自分しか信じちゃいない自分以外の人間を心から信じれないだから人から愛されないんだ黙れお前を迎え入れた時大悟は人としてお前を信じたはずだだからお前も大悟のこと黙れ何をする気だお前みたいな人間には口で説明しても伝わらないだったら俺が俺なりのやり方でお前に教えてやる<笑>やっぱりあんたって人は。こんな時でさえ何にも変わらないいいでしょ気持ちだけで人間どこまでやれるのか教えられるもんなら俺に教えてくださいよでも言っときますがいくらあんたでも俺を倒すのは簡単じゃないですよ Just push him off. <laughs> Hiryu san, this is your last fight. Don't be afraid. 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 Strange opening attack, but okay. Okay. Okay, you're a lot. 
So I can still do this. <laughs> he was giving his big supervillain speech, and I, midway through, I kind of realized, wait, I think I don't care. <laughs> he, he destroyed my. He destroyed an orphanage. I don't really care what his like life goals are at this point. I just want him to die, or lose, or whatever. Because I don't kill people. Uh, I can get one of these things. Repeatedly tap circle when surrounded. Oh. Well. Increase damage when you throw people. I don't have anything to throw here. Increased quick step when not in heat mode. I, why not, I guess? I'll kick someone when they're down. Here he is a kind of a, a kind of honorable, but not that kind of honorable. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Alright, well, he's got stats, so that's not good. He does fucking damage. No. You can it, it'll queue up actions from surprisingly early. There isn't really like an interruption between starting the action, starting the grab, and starting QTE. So like if you're kind of mashing to try to get the QTE to... If you're kind of mashing to get the actions through because it's hard to get heat actions through, you can instantly fail the QTE before you even see it come up. It's kind of rough. He's surprisingly kind of easy so far. Maybe there's a phase two. Whoa! What the fuck is <laughs> this movement's so weird sometimes? Uh oh. Ow. Oh shit, he's doing Street Fighter shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. How did I. Why do I miss moments like that? Jesus. All right, he does ridiculous damage, though. Oh, God! Like, it's not... It's definitely worth stressing the fact that I am stun-locked for large stretches of that sometimes, and it's just like, what the fuck do I do? There's no recovery. This is actually really bad. Are we here? Okay. All things considered, one of the quickest and easiest final boss fights so far, I think. You know, based on memory at least.
渡瀬ですああ会長ああどうかされたんですか大丈夫だ会長私どうしたらよいか<笑>お前だけだ俺のこと私だけでは判断できずもうどうしたらよいか例のドバイの案件の株時価の10倍での申し込みがありました今回の話を聞いた欧米のファンドが会長とぜひミーティングをと依頼が殺到してスケジュールが金か結局会長金しか残らなかった俺はのし上がったんだ誰の力も借りず誰も信じず金だけを信じて会長今では数千億規模の案件です会長早くご決断くださいうん<笑>でも人間結局誰かを信じたい信じてもらいたいそれだけなのかもなあもしもしなあ桐生会長返事を先送りにしていると前方が態度を変える可能性もあります会長お返事ください会長なぜかななんか吹っ切れたみたいに穏やかな気分だ全てが終わる時っていうのはこんな気分なのかないや人間生きてりゃ終わりなんてないいつだってやり直せるんだ CIA なんかじゃない表向きはそうだがあいつらはブラックマンデーの構成員じゃああの男がそうアンドレ・リチャードソンだあいつがそうだ俺はやつらに聞いてあんたがここに来ることも知っていた CIA や風間の動きもやつらには全て筒抜けだった。I'm afraid your role in all of this has come to an end. くそ。やつら何する気なんだ俺らを殺して、新たな基地拡大法案を実現できる人間を探すはずだ。こうなった以上、やつらにとって俺は用済みだからな。Plenty of people who could replace you. And unfortunately, you both know far too much for me to let either live. Die. What? <laughs> まだ死ぬわけにはいかないんだ俺はおおやめつダイゴダイゴキリュウさんお前大丈夫なのかええ桐生さんこそ
でも一体何がミネミネお前どうしたんだ大丈夫か危なかったなだがもう大丈夫だ会長クソしぶといやつだ。こっちに来い今の俺にそこへ行く資格はありませんミニエキリュウさん俺も極道の端くれ俺なりの筋通させてもらいますミネスタッフイッツ Are you nuts? キリュウさんもう少し早くあんたに会って教えてもらいたかったミネまさか登場会を裏切ったのミネだったんですかいや違うあいつはミネは裏切り者なんかじゃない。そうですかそれじゃあ今夜立つんですねああまた寂しくなりますねそんなことはねえよまた近いうちに遊びに来るさお待ちしていますあはるかちゃん来たみたいですねそれじゃあ行くなええキリュウお前は浜崎すべて失っちまったよお前のせいでな
Uramu Orida Dega Scamar Grinder, Kvidemo Kurua Nani Terunda Shinukrainer Ikite Sumio Tsuganayo Nanda to Shinukaku Gareba Nandemo Dekiru has that. お前に信じるものがあってやり直すつもりがあるなら力を貸すぜそんなことを信じろってのかああ<笑>そうかなら試させてもらおうか信じるところじゃねえんだよおめえはあんねんだよおら言ってみろ信じまうときは信じるとかどうとかどうでもいいんだよ俺は信じるおい誰か警察呼べおいてめえ何してんだこの野郎おなしくしろ<笑>キルさん富士さん富士さん富士さんしっかりして富士さんそんな嫌だよねえ富士さん俺は峰に教わったんだ<笑>信じる心ってのは人間死ぬ間際でもモテるんだってことを What? That's how the game ends? The character who didn't do anything the entire game that I was like, where the f why the fuck they set up that character? Just shows up and stabs Kiryu and then they just cut to black. What? <laughs> uh, I hate Mine, by the way. I hate him in general. <laughs> I hate that his name's Mine, so every time I read it in text, I think I'm reading the word mine and then I have to correct myself that it's a character's name that's the, <laughs> the villain of the entire game. I hate that a bunch of people died in what was essentially his dumb journey of self-discovery. I hate that he's like this massively successful capitalist that tons of people would like kill to have half the privilege of, but he's like recklessly throwing people's lives around because he can afford to. And then he's like, gets beaten up by Kiryu and he's like, my entire life has shattered before me, and I did it, did it. I'm like, you're fine. You're fucking fine. You're getting a phone call right now about how you're going to make billions tomorrow. And Kiryu is not going to do anything to you. He's not going to arrest you. He's not going to kill you. Kiryu just punches the justice into people, and then is like, hope it worked. Hope it stuck. And that's like it. So, like, Kiryu is not going to fucking kill you, and you're a massively successful, incredibly well to do person. And it's like, uh, <laughs> Literally gonna make billions like tomorrow if we just like accept the next deal, which is what's always happening. It's like, ugh. It, but it's just money. These poor, these these peasants below me that believe in these things, they need to survive. I'm beyond them because I'm a multi-billionaire and I'm a, I'm on a journey to self-discovery or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go onto the yakuza as like a fucking tourist. 
I'm gonna. She's fucking. <laughs> He's just the worst character. I hate him. <laughs> He's a multi billionaire that, like, looks down on orphans for being orphans. He destroys an orphanage. There's a guy he looks up to, but he's gonna execute him because he's currently n in need of hospital care, and that makes him, like, that's, like, apparently unworthy and depressing and, like, the life of a dog or whatever, so better shoot him, even though he's, like, trying to survive, clearly, and, like, he, which, like, one of the saving graces of the ending was how badass that uh, Dojima moment was, where he rolls out of bed to the gun that Mine threw to his side, and use it to shoot the guy. But the, but then, like, the next f fucking... <laughs> Once again, a character is downed that has a gun, and no one fucking does anything to check in on that, so the guy just gets back up and is like, haha, it's me, the guy with the gun. I stood back up. You fell for my pretend-to-be-defeated technique that keeps happening in this game. Like, that, that whole plot point gets really frustrating. But then Mine, who could have just taken him down in a, t in a dozen other ways, He's so fucking self-important and delusional and up on his own hype and his fucking narrative arc that he has to execute that he fucking really pointlessly kills himself when he could have just defeated him in so many other different ways at that point because the guy was completely at his mercy. And just to highlight how dumb that was, he sits there at the edge of the fucking skyscraper and just gives like a speech about like to everyone and says goodbye like it would have been way more impactful if he just went. Like, narratively, if you just went off the cliff immediately with the guy. Like, oh, M Mine, in the last moment, like, he, ha he, he he switched sides, and that was his, like, I don't know, some, some messy attempt at a, at a redemption for a second, I guess. But they have to ruin it, by, or more specifically, he has to ruin it because he sucks as a person, and and that's is so fucking on brand for him, and his, like, and, and with everything else he's done on this game, to be the guy that, like, in the middle of his fucking sacrifice moment, he goes up to the cliff and then like stops and gives a speech to each individual person while continually holding the person, really showing how much he hilariously does not need to kill himself in any moment of self-sacrifice. It's literally not a moment of self-sacrifice. First of all, that guy is like, also the, the the American actor who like his voice sounds weird the whole time, almost like it was recorded differently than all the other characters because maybe it was, but like, He's distractingly going, no, ah, grr, ah, let go of me, ah, ooh, ah, er, no, ah, you're crazy. And he keeps doing that for like five minutes while the guy's holding him. <laughs> All he had to do was throw him off. But no, he's like, ah, it's my moment of self-sacrifice. Look how important I am. Ah, uh, goodbye, Tojima. <laughs> あ、ダメだ。行くぞ。ケン、ケン、パ。ケン、ケン、パ。間違えちゃった。すごいね。やっぱさきちゃん、平常図。そんなことないよ。ねえねえ、はるかお姉ちゃんも見てみなよ。<
aside from the stupidity of letting the guy with the gun go around unsupervised like that you can't like be actively mad at rikia because like he got shot in a vital place and then he died and that's how he went out but with richardson not only does he not land a single fatal blow anywhere on uh mine because i'm pretty sure every shot just hit his like arms and things like that but then mine in a moment of self sac his, his he doesn't have a moment of self-sacrifice he's just a pretentious asshole that wants everyone to pay attention to him because he's so full of himself that he like spends 10 minutes drawing out his pretend sacrifice that doesn't actually have a purpose because the guy in his arms is clearly like because he got shot like right in the chest uh can't really fight back against anybody that's grappling him and so he's he completely has lost at that point highlighted by the fact that the guy's like ah uh, 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 let me go ah you're crazy ah like fuck the poor voice actor had to like try to sell that scene for like several minutes straight of just like random struggling noises that like mine could have just thrown him off or subdued him in any other way. There's no reason for like the heroic self-sacrifice. He's not the fucking Terminator. Like you don't need to like go in with him into the fucking like lava pit. And that's the only way to stop the T2000 or whatever the T2 one was called. The T3000. I don't know. The liquid one that had to die and all that. Like he didn't have to self-sacrifice at all. It was completely pointless. And like he's so fucking well to do. and Everything about him just... I hate the character. I hate him so much. He's so uniquely infuriating because he's so fucking full of himself and his plan was incoherent and messy and kind of self-defeating and contradictory and everything he was doing was like actively against the wishes of the person that he seemed to worship and everything about him was just stupid and he's stupid. I hate him. He's a stupid, stupid head and I'm glad he's dead. Fuck him. <laughs> Thank God he's dead. Stupid ass character. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, it's like every, it's like the exact opposite of how you feel when you're like when you're dealing with Nishiki after dealing with Yakuza Zero, and then you're like, oh no, this is tragic and sad. You're like, no, fuck this guy. He's an idiot. I hate him. I hope he dies. <laughs> and then Richardson's also a nothing character. You saw him once before. And he attacked you in an alley, and I don't think he even spoke or something. And then he comes up at the end, like, haha, it is me, the villain of the whole game. I am Braku Mondeo. I'm like, all right. I guess, sure, let's resolve this too. And then Mine and Black Monday go off the cliff together, and it's like, alright. That happened. Guess I'll go build my orphan. And then out of nowhere, the guy that Kiryu's never met, as far as I can tell, just shows up and stabs him in the post credit scene. Just like, or, or po not the post credit scene, but post-ending scene. pre credit scene. He just stabs him, and it's like, what? This is why we set up this character? It's like there's a trio of Tojo clan people we gotta investigate and then they have a whole CG cutscene setting up like his cruelty and I think we never met him before I think he was taken down off camera because we dealt with uh, what was his name Shen uh, the Chinese mob, the triad guy he was dealt with and he was shot by Do Dojima and that apparently got rid of the cruel guy from the restaurant and so we never saw him <laughs> And so it was just setting up so he could stab me in the post in like the at the end of the game for like a, a couple minutes of tension of like oh my god are they killing Kiryu and then he's fine and then Kiryu lies for Mine which is infuriating because fuck Mine and then Kiryu on his it was about thinking he's dying has like a tribute to Mine and how he learned something from him and I'm like I swear to God Kiryu no don't. don't. That's, that's two strikes. Stop. Stop. Stop fucking giving any credit to Mina. I hate this character. <laughs> Mina is a jackass. And this is maybe the weakest narrative of the entire series I've played so far. It was really iffy. The only things I really liked that much were uh, mostly just everything to do with the orphanage was like, oh, this is just sweet. There's like the itchy part where you're like, mm, but we gotta get, when, what, like, we're getting back to the Yakuza stuff though, right? Partly because the pre. And that's partly the game's fault, because like the, the cold opening, almost like it's insecure about how bored you're going to get with the orphanage stuff, immediately sets up this mystery about, oh my god, there's a, there's a there's another Kazuma, it's crazy, what's going on there? And then they just don't address it for several chapters, because even because that, that was a cold open from the future, and then we rewind several years. Uh, and so like, it gives you this itchy feeling in the back, like, oh, but we're, we're going to get back to Kamarocho, right? we got to get back to Kamarocho and deal with the thing. And I, I kind of feel like that distracting element almost 
I, I could have done without that in the back of my head while I'm dealing with the orphanage stuff in the opening chapters that was kind of neat of like, oh, let's check out this new location and these new characters and this new life that Kiryu's setting up. But then he gets dragged back into it. I almost wonder if a different narrative where he gets dragged back into Yakuza business via stuff more directly tied to the orphanage that isn't a massive convoluted conspiracy that takes him back to Kamurcho, like almost could have been better. I don't know. Poor Kashiwagi was in all of these games until now, and he dies immediately in a, in a hyper elaborate plan where it's honestly a little hard to say even who killed him and why sometimes. <laughs> Because there were so many people at play, and it's hard to say who was even on whose side throughout the story and what anyone wanted besides Black Monday wanting to smuggle weapons and get the, the deal passed. And so many shifting things were happening that I'm like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I thought there might be another boss fight because I was like, oh, this is like a surprisingly quick and easy fight at the end. But you don't fight Richardson again in like his final super mode where he has a rocket launcher or whatever. He just gets shot immediately, which is immediately like that was badass. Like Daigo just rolling out of bed and taking him out. It's a little confusing because in a little like if you're talking about how dumb a lot of the other stuff is, it's also kind of dumb in its own way of like, wait, Daigo's capable of that m amount of movement and speech right now. But he was being taken hostage. Like, was he? Was he playing possum this entire time? Like, did he just roll out of bed? Did he wake up at that exact moment and roll out of bed and just react on instinct to Richardson having been actually unconscious up until then? Because, like, otherwise he would have heard Mine's, like, plans and stuff, but he didn't, I guess. So, that was just some hilariously lucky timing. But anyway, Mine's a jackass and he's dead and we can all be thankful for that. So that's nice. I guess they're setting up a new villain in that the restaurant guy must be a villain in the next game or something because they set him up in this game but he was irrelevant to most of the plot or at least you never actually deal with him so yeah uh, it would take me a little while to trace back exactly what he had to do with the rest of the narrative even at this point I guess it had something to do with uh, I mean I guess he was in the triad I can't remember if the triad had anything to do with Black Monday or if that was just the remnant of the last game's story coming back in parallel with Black Monday. There was a lot of balls in the air in this game. Like, way too many for how how brief the narrative is. Because this isn't Yakuza 0 where the game has, like, super long story segments and can therefore carry the weight of so many plot lines at once. Uh, Yakuza 1, 2, and 3, the story chapters come really quick. And uh, this was like that, so it's like, I... Huh. All I can say is, I know they get better, because Yakuza 0 was pretty good and sold me on the whole franchise. So, they're in the, they're in the progress, in the process here of progressing as story writers and so on. Anyway, difficulty normal, times difficulty changed, 0, 2 continues. I think those are just random, like, mission failures? really specific stats. Exactly 100 weapons broken in the game. 18 pedestrians knocked down. Like, not just bumped into, but I guess, like, they track how much when you body check a, a pedestrian so hard, they just eat shit. <laughs> Distance traveled. Heat action finishes. 10. I only had to do that end thing 10 times, huh? Where you mash the, the R2? That almost seems low. Haruka's trust level F. They hear they he bludgeon we with it at the beginning at the end of the game. Completion thirty two percent. Two million yen. Damn. You will create data that will be used for the newly unlocked post clear mode. This will save all elements, but if you begin a new game using clear data, then elements such as sub story progression will not be saved. This is recommended. To create new save data, okay. Oh, new new game using clear data means it restarts the story but keeps your character, I think. Okay, well anyway, yeah, I want to save. So now, we're going to do some post-game, because there's just a... I'm not going to do 100% completionism or anything, but like, I have dangling threads that I didn't get to finish. And it just felt too indulgent to pause the story when we're supposed to be in a hurry to deal with the hospital situation. So I'll, I'll do I'll do uh, one or two post-game episodes where I deal with like the tuna and 
finish the... I think we still need to finish the storyline with the, um... I almost said MLA again. The HLA and so on. Extra. Two player versus. Oh, in mini games. That's nice to have access to. There's a, wow, there's a lot here going on. Costume. You can dress up Rikia, the dead guy. Change out his corpse. He can look like anything. Isn't that crazy? EXSSS has been added to the trust rank for Haruka. Those post game Haruka like rep grinding. Huh. See you next time.